do like the treatment of these kidneys. This looks like a clean design of kidneys that don't stretch out all the way to this point, like we have in the M3, for example. Here, they look more traditional BMW. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, BMW, as you know, they just dropped the BMW M3. Two. I made a video on it on my second channel talking about this design. I have to say, the more I look at this design, the more it's growing on me. I think it's starting to look really cool, and I kind of want one right now. So we're gonna do a quick redesign of both the front and the rear in this uh, video, because I think there are a couple of things that I, I want to bring back some of that BMW dynamic design that we've seen for the past decades. I think it's lacking here. It's very static product design shape of this car and I want to change that by just tweaking it a little bit in the front and the rear. I'm wearing my Datsun 240 hoodie today. It's getting a little chilly outside. Super comfy and super warm. Go and check it out at thesketchmonkey.com if you want to. Now let's jump in to the design here. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the spec and tech. Just go over that. It's rear wheel drive only, which I think is really cool. You have a twin turbo inline six making 453 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. Not bad for this type of package is quite a punch and you also have a manual transmission as an option it comes with a standard automatic but you can choose to equip it with a manual transmission so good job bmw on that one and talking about these wheels i think these wheels are so cool because the front tires are really wide <laughs> i mean the 275 millimeters in the front and 285 in the rear and they're 19 in the front and 20 in the back, so they have this staggered feeling. It's going to cost around $63,000 when it go on sale, uh, I think, next year. Now, before we go in and talk about this design, I want to talk about a uh, company that I'm a huge fan of and that is also a sponsor of today's video, and that company is athletic greens athletic greens is empowering people to take ownership of their health they believe that giving your body the nutrition that it needs should be simple athletic greens creates products that addresses whole body health by delivering comprehensive daily nutrients and supporting long-term gut health and their flagship product the ag1 is the embodiment of their mission designed to be a simple daily habit and the nutritional cornerstones of everyone's health journey it has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I drink my AG1 first thing in the morning. And don't let the color fool you. It actually tastes pretty good. And it's a pretty effortless daily habit. Just one scoop or travel pack of AG1, 8 ounces of water every day, and that's it. It's your daily multivitamin and multimineral all in one simple scoop. To me personally, I work out at least once every single day, and I want to be able to recover quickly and AG1 helps with exactly that because it's packed with superfoods such as magnesium which helps with muscle recovery specifically. I also want to have a leveled energy curve throughout the day and not many ups and downs and that's something else that AG1 helps with because of its natural form of B12. There are no GMOs, no pesticides or herbicides, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives or sweeteners in this product. So go to athleticgreens.com slash the sketch monkey to get started on your order. Athletic Greens has given my subscribers a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video and I'll let's get back to the redesign. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's have a look at this uh, BMW M2. I think I've, I've, I've seen so many comments online that are not really popular positive about this design. I can kind of see why I can see what's going on here and that has to do with this lack of uh, dynamic flow that uh, that is completely uh, not existent in this car. But I want to know your uh, idea or your opinion of this design. So comment down below. What do you think about this BMW? Do you think they're heading in the right direction or are they doing something completely wrong with this design? I think they are actually heading with this design. I think they're heading in the right direction because if you go back to the E30 3 Series, for example, it has it also had a very static design to it. And if you think of it that way, this could be maybe a modernized version of that design language because to have a look at this this front air intake here for example is pretty much just a square and then we have another square right here 
and of course on the other side as well but i do like the treatment of these kidneys this looks like a clean design of kidneys that don't stretch out all the way to this point like we have in the m3 for example here they look more traditional bmw i i like that they're stretched out horizontally instead of vertically it gives the front end a nice a wide look specifically when you plant them on 275 millimeter wide front tires and 285 right here in the rear so it sits very nicely i just think it lacks a movement in in its lines it's very static and it's very product designy so that's kind of what i want to change in the redesign but we do have a sharp shoulder line right here as you can see very nice and then we have this power bulge on the hood as well and typical m style side mirrors with this little horn sticking in at the top part right there i do really like these wheels i think these wheels look great i also think this side view looks really really good because we have a simple approach to the lines in this design and also a simple approach to the proportions we have a typical two-door kind of sedan uh, style with a boot right here proportions with three boxes we have box number one being the hood then we have box number two right here and three being the trunk it has very nice proportions looking at it from a side view and of course the a-pillar pointing down to where it's supposed to point to the center of the front wheel looking at the graphics though we do have some static features for example these uh, rectangles or boxes that we have both front and rear but i don't really mind that i do think they can maybe be a little bit more stylized and not be totally squared off which i'm going to show you in the redesign and i also really like the way they added the width to this design the m2 compared to the normal uh, 2 series you have almost I said in the other video as well almost like a DTM body kit on here that's been fused in a more um, smooth way than just uh, a DTM a proper DTM package but you can still see that there are some things here that makes it look like that width had has been added to the design and I think it looks really cool actually the rear end this is something that I'm going to redesign as well I'm going to do both the front and the rear I think the have the tail lights they sit right in the center of this graphic feature or graphic framing right here which means that it doesn't move they don't really have an up or down movement I don't think they have a side movement either because of the graphics that are inside of this tail light so I'm gonna redesign the graphics that are inside of the tail lights and also redesign the front uh, the rear end to have to, to kind of lift it up a little bit I don't want to have this line sloping this much and pulling down the graphics on the side looking at this point right here i'm not sure what this is i think that's a cool thing i have to say because the rear end graphics they are very similar you can see the connection to the front end graphics when you look at these uh, corners or um, boxes that we have in in both the front and the rear and also the side in this part right here so i think the continuity of the design is pretty good in the m2 i just think the placement of the graphic features to me what is the problem in in this design and that i want to change but then we have stuff like this that i don't really understand it's also oh, sort of like a crease here i kind of want to have a chamfer going up here instead and remove this and also looking at this diffuser i don't really like how it's integrated in the body because it looks uh, very sharp and, and and that it doesn't flow well with the bumper specifically with these 90 degree corners up here so i'm going to do something about that as well i do love that they went with the quad exhaust bazooka tailpipes in the rear i think it looks really good very m like but i think a couple of tweaks to this design will turn it into a really cool looking m2 so that's what we're gonna do right now let's jump in and continue here start with the front end which is gonna be a super quick redesign i think it's so close to being a, a awesome looking almost modern interpretation of the e30 style or the 80s era bmw where everything was very geometrical but they still had some sort of dynamic in them so what i want to do is work tweak the boxes that you have in in the lower part of the bumper not have them be so um, scientifically square i want to have one line being a bit of an angle to uh, kind of re uh, bring back the E46 M3 style with a new, maybe a bit more product designy feel to it. And I also wanna add a base for the entire front end that is body colored because having the black part in the center 
and uh, not have it be body color there it feels like the 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 center intake it kind of just falls down to the ground it doesn't have a solid foundation to it i want to have a nice one line foundation underneath the entire front end and that will kind of be the foundation for everything to build to be built upon uh, above that point but looking at the kidneys i don't want to touch the kidneys i think they look really cool and they work well with the headlights as well because they have the same kind of geometric feel to it and i'm not opposed to that what i am opposed to is the positioning of the headlights i think they sit a little too high maybe a couple of inches too high just bring it down a little bit and be more in line with the top part of the grill I think that change in combination with the subtle tweaks that I'm doing in the lower part I think that will transform the front end and turn this into a really cool looking BMW M2 from the front end now moving on to the rear this is where I think um, a little bit more change is gonna happen as I said you have this crease in the you see the the reflector in the side there in the lower part underneath you have a crease there i want to remove that and create a a chamfer instead i think that would look better it, it, it looks like um, uh, something went wrong in the cad modeling as it is as it looks right now so i want to fix that and be have it be more of a square like we have in the front end but most importantly i think i want i, I think moving the headlights and the top half of the front of the rear end moving that slightly up making the taillights a bit slimmer redesign the internal parts of the taillights as well to have them be more dynamic and not just one line and on top of that change the uh, the housing or the integration of the diffuser in the lower part you know I'm, I, if i were to completely redesign this i would add a lot more curvatures and uh, chamfers and nice flow into this design but if I want to redesign it and still respect what BMW is trying to do here, working with more geom geometrical shapes, I think it could still work. Because as I said, that's what they had back in the 80s and those car lo cars looked great. But I think we, if we just change the positioning of a couple of graphic features on, on the, in the front and the rear like I'm doing right here, I think that will really turn this into a really, really cool M2. And as I said, the original, I mean the M2 as it is right now, I think that's a car that will look, that it's going to look a lot better in real life. I hope at least. It is looks interesting in videos and photos but i, I want to see it in real life to get a clear understanding of what bmw designers are trying to do or and try to uh bring out from this design and that's the, the only way you can do that properly is by seeing it in real life but when it comes to the spec and tech of this car i think bmw is on point with the power 453 horses rear wheel drive with a stick shift in today's day and age I think that's absolutely fantastic and I, I, I you know I think this is going to be a really cool car a fun car on the track and a beast to drive I do wish they did a couple of more changes to the design though specifically with the graphics design but other than that I think the BMW M2 is a step in the right direction for BMW now what they need to work on is to make sure their entire lineup has some consistency in it because that is a huge problem for BMW right now with the XM looking completely different from the 7 series which also looks completely different from the iX and then you have the new M2 which looks nothing like the models I just mentioned so there's a lack in consistency in the DNA of BMW and I think that's their uh, that, that's what they need to be working on moving forward and that's my redesign of the BMW M2 thanks for watching and go check out athletic greens in the description below I'll see you in the next video